Kusu Zangpo, this is an end user education video on integration of BPSD into managing for excellence system. To give brief background on integration of BPSD into managing for excellence, RCC in a 65th commission meeting held on 29th October 2020 endorsed the integration of BPSD into MAX. With this, all teachers, vice principals, principals will follow the new performance appraisal form, which is also known as IWP form. Non-teaching staff and school counselors will follow the existing MAX online system, meaning there is no change in IWP forms for non-teaching staff and school counselors. With the implementation of BPST from 2020, there are three types of IWP forms. For the first one, for principals and vice principals, including officiating principals. The other one, for teachers, including TVET and IT instructors. The third one, for counselors and non-teaching staff. As mentioned earlier, there is no change in IWP forms for school counselors and non-teaching staff. This is the timeline for IWP submission and evaluation. For submission of IWP, the system will be open till 30th November. All teachers, vice principals and principals need to submit the IWP on or before 30th November. For IWP evaluation, the system will be open from January 1st till 31st March 2021. The schools can start evaluation of performance for 2020 from 1st January 2021. After a teacher logs in, he or she will be directed to the teacher's dashboard. It has the following sections planning, evaluation, ad, ad hoc activities and view past IWPs. In the new IWP form for teachers, there is no review section. This implies that after a teacher plans the IWP, there is no requirement for mid-year review. During the planning phase, go to Plan My IWP. For 2020, the system is open till 30 November 2020. The IWP form constitutes two sections, Section A, Employee Details, and Section B, Performance. In Section B, a teacher does not have to fill out the form. The form is pre-populated with the focus areas, indicators, and performance targets from the Bhutan Professional Standards for Teachers. The 11 focus areas, indicators, and the targets for 2020 correspond to the proficient career stage. As of now, the status is reflected as not submitted. After taking note of the selected focus areas, indicators, and performance targets, a teacher is required to submit the form. A pop-up will read, Are you sure you want to submit your IWP? Teachers IWP require no verification and review by supervisor, hence will directly be available for evaluation during the evaluation phase. If sure to proceed further, click OK. The teacher will be notified of the successful submission. Although a teacher is not required to plan activities and set performance targets, in the new IWP during the planning phase, a teacher must take note of the selected focus areas and mandatorily submit the form to complete the steps in the IWP process. Thereafter, if a teacher revisits the form, the status will be reflected as submitted. This is the end of the planning phase. During the IWP planning phase, 
principals can view the status of IWP of teachers. This is the dashboard of a principal. Although there is no need for a principal to verify the IWP planning of the teachers, the principal can view the IWP status of teachers. In the principal's dashboard under the section for teachers, click view IWP status of teachers. Here the principal can view the status of planning. In this case, Lopin Jamyang has been reflected as yes because earlier we saw that he completed the process of submission. This provision in the principal's dashboard enables principals to remind those teachers who have not submitted the appraisal forms. This is all a principal is required to do for teachers during the IWP planning phase. The dashboard of the vice principal has the following sections. Planning, review, evaluation, ad hoc activities, View past IWPs. Unlike teachers, vice principals have a review phase. To plan IWP, click Plan My IWP. The appraisal form constitutes three sections Section A, Employee Details, Section B, Leadership Roles, and Section C, Standard. Section B will require planning. To plan, click Add Activity. There are 10 competency areas from the competency-based framework for principals, which will have to be selected from a drop-down menu. At least one activity will have to be planned for each competency area to be able to submit the form. However, Vice principals can add more than one activity under a competency area. The competency based framework must be referred for guidance. This is the section that will require verification by the principal during the planning phase. Section C contains the selected focus areas, indicators, followed by the performance targets from the Bhutan Professional Standards for Teachers. The eight indicators selected for 2020 corresponds to that of the proficient teacher. Similar to a teacher, a vice principal does not have to fill out the form. He or she just has to go through the focus areas, indicators, and performance targets that are selected for the particular year. Then he or she can submit the IWP. This is the end of the planning phase for vice principals. After a vice principal has submitted his plan, the principal will have to verify the IWP of the vice principal specifically the activities and targets in section B. Go to verify IWP of VP in the planning section. Here the principal can view the planning and verification status. In this case, Vice Principal Sangye Tenzin has submitted the plan but has not been verified. To verify, click view form. The principal is required to verify just section B, either by editing, removing, or retaining the targets set by the vice principal. After verifying the activities and targets, the principal can complete the verification by clicking Verify IWP. This completes the planning phase of a vice principal.
for the principles, the components and process of planning are the same as the vice principle. The principle is required to plan the activities and targets for just section B. Section C are the selected focus areas and indicators from the BPSD. After submission, the verification will have to be done by the DEO or the TEO. To verify the IWB plan of the principal by the DEO during the planning phase, go to School Principals IWP, verify IWP of principles, view form, and you see the activities plan in leadership roles. Edit or delete. Section C standard does not require verification. And then verify IWP. So IWP is successfully verified. So this is the end of the entire process of the planning phase of principles I don't pay and verification by the supervisor. Let us see the steps involved in the evaluation of a teacher's IWP. During the evaluation phase, go to evaluate my IWP. Select the appraisal year. Then against each focus area and indicator, fill out the target achieved. Simply reflect the target level achieved. A teacher did not have to rewrite the target descriptors. Under justification, it is not mandatory to fill out the field. Justifications are required only when the set targets are not achieved. After filling out all the fields in the target achieved, submit self-assessment. To evaluate the IWP of teachers by the principal, go to evaluate IWP of teachers. Here, the principal can view the status of IWP submission by the teachers. To evaluate the IWP of teacher who submitted the form, click View Form. Here, the principal can give the final score based on the performance of the teacher against each focus area and indicator. Once the final scores are given against all focus area, click Submit Final Assessment. With this action, an email notification will be sent to the teacher through the registered email ID, which informs the teacher about the final evaluation by the principal. This is the end of a teacher's IWP evaluation. The rest of the applicable phases and processes of the IWP for vice principal and the principal remains same as in the previous years. Thank you.